any legacy telco node actually looks like this it contains some line cards and some control cards basically every card is a separate machine having its own hardware operating system and application software if we virtualize this legacy telco node onto the virtual infrastructure what we do basically every card will now be created as a separate vm each vm will have its own virtual hardware operating system and application software and then we tie them together via internal networks so a group of this vms tied together called as a virtual network function or a vnf so a vnf is actually nothing but your legacy telco node now converted in the form of virtual machines so to create each vm of the vnf i have to create its components so i have to create the flavor then the image the networks to which the vm has to be attached and finally the vm has to be instantiated now let's assume my vm needs some more storage space so i will create a volume and i will attach that volume to the vm all this process for two vms can take 15 to 20 minutes if everything goes well now in production systems nobody creates vm manually in fact the vms are created using these files these are called as stack files in general or vnf templates in telco terminology now don't get worried because these files are being written using some tools nobody writes them manually in fact it is the responsibility of the vnf designer or the application developer to provide you with these files this one is a very simple stack file for the creation of two vms and attaching those two vms with two volumes if you have a look then you will find that this this stack file will use these three parameters and will create these four okay so it is using the image the flavor and the availability zone as given parameters and the stack file will create the following resources so it will create a network along with the subnet it will create vm1 and finally attach the vm1 with its volume similarly vm2 and attach vm2 with its volume the volume properties are given here in actual for an actual vnf this file will be much much more complex in the production system so let me take you to my open stack environment and see how the magic will happen this is my open stack lab on google cloud and it is completely free so you can see the image is already available and the flavor is also available here is my m1.tiny flavor which i am using in the stack file now let's go to the orchestration tab and launch the stack here i will launch the stack stack file i will browse the stack file from here and next let me give the stack name my admin password and launch so you see that the stack has been launched and the status is create in progress and it is done at 1 12 okay just note the time and at 113 the stack is complete that means 1 minute only let me go inside the stack my stack is ready this is the infrastructure which the yaml file has created let me go to the resources so the stack file has created a subnet attached two volumes into two vms and a network these are the resources which are created by the stack file let me go to my instances you see two instances are created with sir os image and ip address from the same network has been allocated to them the flavor is used m1.tiny and the status is active and running if i go to the volume tab two volumes have been created and attached to the two vms so all this happened in just 1 minute using the stack files this is the procedure for vnf creation